بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم این السلام علیکم پاکستان ویلکم بیک ٹو کارپریٹ گورننس اینڈ وی آر موونگ اہیڈ ود دا رول آف میڈیا اینڈ ہاؤ ڈفرنٹ شیئر ہولڈرز اینڈ اسٹیک ہولڈرز ریسپونڈ ٹو میڈیا اینڈ اے ویری امپارٹنٹ تھنگ از دیٹ لاسٹ ٹائم وی سو دا ڈفرنٹ اپروچز آف دا شیئر ہولڈرز دیٹ ہاؤ دے ٹین ٹو انٹرفیس انٹر ایکٹ اینڈ دین ریسپونڈ ٹو میڈیا اینڈ وی سی دیٹ دے ور ڈفرنٹ اپروچز ٹوورڈز اٹ اینڈ ڈفرنٹ امپلیکیشنز ٹوڈے وی گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ policy makers and board of director and their response to media coverage and we are going to see that how they respond and then what are the consequences uh, of their response and how it can affect corporate governance as a whole now uh, ladies and gentlemen uh, shareholders in case of corporate failure require court and government protection so again uh, that is what we see and a very good example or not a good example is basically exact case in pakistan whereby we see that exact as a corporation Uh, became one of the uh, best employers of the country they hired thousands and thousands of people and they basically were disseminating degrees and certificates and also other services and then we see that due to uh, due to uh, incongruent and uh, and immoral practices uh, we see that it tend, tended to collapse and then again we see uh, that uh, there was a corporate failure over there and how the policy makers and how the board of directors basically responded to this particular case and uh, we see that policy makers evaluate the efficacy of uh, corporate policy in parliament uh, the level of media coverage of issues uh, allows legislators to gauge the extent of its effect so again uh, what happens is that the parliamentarians and the policy makers uh, basically based upon how the media is progressing with its news related to a particular sector or related to a particular institution or related to a particular industry they basically tend to formulate their own policies and even at times tend to promulgate laws so all of this is taking place and the policy makers are very ardent viewers uh, of the media be it be social be it digital be it be print or uh, electronic so all of these are very effective and again have their own implications the degree of effort and attention with which the policy maker intervenes depends on a number of factors first of all the political objectives uh, of that individual or of its party the political rep- reputation with the voting public that how the voting public tends to proceed because at the end of the day the political party or the politician has to go to them and thirdly international political reputation so we see that the politician or the policy maker is basically triangulated between political objectives uh, the uh, voting public and also international political reputation and has to find a way out uh, which is generally accepted by all of these three major players Uh, by informing the voting public the media facilitates the functioning of a democracy so definitely uh, when we say that uh, democracy is the best policy so media is the one which is dem- disseminating all of the news all of the progress uh, and all of the failures of the government and based upon that the voting public is garnering uh, a, a, a impression and a perception and then when the voting day comes uh, they basically take it out and therefore can have a positive or negative effect on any government and all political parties uh, we also see that uh, when we are talking about uh, the role of media uh, and the director's response the board of directors in its capacity as a monitor of shareholders interest has a responsibility to take appropriate action so again what we see is that uh, as a shareholder you you do have the right to sell your shares but as a shareholder you do not have a right to impose any restrictions limitations or Uh, any new interventions uh, on the management or on the company board of directors can do that they can give a direction to the company they can give a direction to the management and they can ensure that uh, whatever direction was taken earlier that can be changed towards a better direction based upon the information which is being disseminated by the media directors would also be expected to ensure that future performance of the company will not be jeopardized so the directors are directly responsible or you can say that they are concerned with the performance and productivity and optimization of any organization within any sector so that basically also tends to materialize to the information which they are assimilating to the different media uh, present in society media criticism of management uh, may alert directors to be uh, be they non executive or executive to need courage in management to work and through collective work directors and management can find a solution to the problems and based upon that what we see uh, is that Uh, the directors uh, basically uh, should be given sufficient coverage on the issue leads uh, which relate to the management 
and the BOD to bring about reforms and that is very important and therefore uh, the media department or the media lead or the communication department within an organization should be providing all of this information to the management and to the BOD. Uh, the effective uh, showcases media's power to control reputation. So again, we see that media can either uh, make or break the reputation or credibility of an organization and that is very, very important and that all depends upon how the board of directors is responding and reputation is fragile resource which takes time to create but can fade away very quickly. So that again is a very famous saying and uh, it can take years and decades to make a reputation but it can only take one post or just one minute to break the reputation. So that is very important and organizations must keep that in mind so that they can develop a better future for all the stakeholders and all of the shareholders. Thank you so much.